Hey guys, today in this video I want to show you something very cool if you have a Mac and an iPad and it's called using your iPad as a secondary display for your Mac. I was playing around with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and I tried to find a way how I can use Relight because we don't have Relight if you don't have a 16 gigabyte iPad version. You have to have the M1 and M2. I made a video yesterday about this and that's what I was doing today and I came up with this like I did not know that this exists. Maybe some of you already know but I want to show you that you can even use DaVinci Resolve and have some some features and you can still use a pencil and it could be very handy for some projects that you're doing. So I show you what I mean. So what I'm showing you today, you don't need to install any separate app. I already made a video in the past how easy it is that you can actually use your mouse on a secondary screen on an iPad. Super simple. I will link this one here in the description. But what I figured out today is when you basically come up here to the green dot here and you just hover longer, you will have this menu here. And now I can say move to my iPad. And for example, this window will now move here to my iPad and I can actually use my pencil as a mouse and even to interact with my complete Mac now here on my iPad. I will show you this now also with DaVinci Resolve. I already have DaVinci Resolve open here. So if I come up to this icon here again and I hover over it, I get this menu and now I can say move to my iPad and boom. Now I even have my iPad here with DaVinci Resolve, but I'm now using actually DaVinci Resolve from my Mac Pro. I can even now use my mouse and work in the iPad, even use my shortcuts. And if you see here, I'm already in the color tab and I can even add an effect like Relight just to that one here. Super, super cool what you can do. So many, like all the apps that you have here on the Mac, just to prove you, I can even get the list on and for example, switch here to my browser, can interact with my iPad on my Mac. That is super, super cool. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a the bam bang gong, and if we see us in the next video, I'm Daniel. Bye.